morning, everybody. This is Lori Wilson with you on Community Voice. It is Thursday, uh, for, it's April 20th. April 20th. April 20th. And we have in studio today, Don Levins. Good morning, Don. Good morning, ma'am. And George Wheelis. Good morning. Good morning. And you guys are from the uh, Carroll County, uh, not that I'm telling you anything you don't already know, Carroll County uh, Veterans Memorial Park. And we're here to talk about the Revolutionary War. What? That's cool. Yeah. Okay. So, um, Don, tell us what's going yeah, on. Yeah, let me tell you a little bit about uh, why, who we are and why we County Veterans Memorial Park. Uh, it is, uh, we have a committee, and our mission is to plan, build, equip, and maintain a park to honor military veterans of the United States of America who are currently living in Carroll County who have lived in Carroll County at some time, or who have Carroll County connections and who honorably served their country. This includes any period of service in the armed forces in which the individual is currently serving or has been honorably separated from active service, beginning with the American Revolution. Well, that was the that was the one who got That's this whole start. shebang started. But we intend and are in fact honoring individuals who fit these this parameter in in the park. And when we do it in many ways, uh, our main priority is to provide the veterans of Carroll County an appropriate memorial. Well, we want to have a prestigious place to assemble for Memorial Day and Veteran Day and other types of veterans programs, as well as a place for individuals and families to have a quiet place to remember their loved ones. To this point, we have completed 25 walls of honor, wow. upon which we have 1,228 veterans plaques on the walls in the park. Wow, that many. That many now, and we have room for half that many more, for over 500 more, because we just extended by 50% the amount of wall space. So since last you guys were here, you guys have expanded. We need yeah. to go back, even if we've already been there. We yeah. need to go back and check it out. Yeah, got to go. You also need to check out our website, which has all the activities that are going on uh, in the park, and that's uh, ccvmp.org. C C V V V M. -M P dot org, org. Carroll County, County Veterans, Veterans Memorial, Memorial Park, Park dot org. <laughs> hey, it's like you're we good. rehearsed that. You're good. <laughs> okay, so um, so so what? We didn't have anything for the revolutionary guys except for what some individuals have purchased plaques and put on the wall mm -hmm. of uh, military. Like, look, I have my plaque on the wall. Who paid for that? I did. Did you? Good for you. I made my brother's plaque on the wall. Oh. And he was uh, he was a Carroll County commissioner for 12 years, Jerry Levins. I have my great grandfather on the wall. He was in the uh, war between the states. Uh -oh. And I have my sixth great grandfather. The war of Northern Aggression. Well, right? there's a lot of names. <laughs> <we can laughs> That's another show. Okay, let's have that show, too. <laughs> <That's another> show. <laughs> that ended yeah. in April. But so look what yeah. I have represented four of us, which cover pretty much the history of our country. See, so, so much cool. of who we are and what we are relates to war. Well, that's true. I mean, we figure our, our uh, history by wars, Almost. don't we? Almost. Huh. So uh, you've got your your Carrollton, what is that, your hat? Uh, well, I'm a... What does that call it? A hat. It's not I a forgot hat. I had it on. Well, I've, I don't know that I've ever seen okay, you without I'm it. I'm working today at the VA. I volunteer every Thursday, and I wear this, and so I just ran over here to do this, and I forgot I had my hat on. You're a past commander of Post 143. I am. That's cool. I, I wish... Oh, where are... You know what, everybody? We're on Facebook Live, so hurry up and go get on Facebook, and maybe in the next segment... We'll uh, take a guided tour around Don Levin's hat. No, it's a cap. It's a cover. 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 See, I had a son who was a Marine, so it only took me three tries to get the terminology right. George, we're, um, I'm looking at a copy. What is this, a photograph or a printout of the Revolutionary Veterans 
um, Revolutionary War veterans. And if I recall, because you guys taught us that after the Revolutionary War, the veterans were granted some land in various places. Is that right? That's correct. So these these guys were settled. Uh, they settled here they settled after here. the war. They settled here, but they pretty much is what I can find. They they came mm -hmm. not – the land was cheap. They they were not granted land. Oh, okay. Or uh, they were the, – and so far none of these that we're talking about today re received uh, uh, the uh, land lottery and got a free land that way. Uh, so they, but they they came here for one reason or another. You know what? I'm I'm coming up short because I'm still asleep, as you can tell. But um, <laughs> did there weren't any Revolutionary War skirmishes in in Georgia? Oh were no, there? no. Well, then not this. Well, along the the coast, but this part of Georgia at the time of the Revolution was Creek at Cherokee. Oh. And uh, Carroll County was not established until and created until 1826. So none of these fellows lived here and went off to fight. They all fought somewhere else for another state, some in Georgia, and then after the sometime after the revolution, they moved in Carroll County after it was created. I want to read Into the original hmm. Carroll County. Now, do th you see this design here? Yeah, that here. doesn't look like Carroll okay, County. Okay, that includes all of Harrelson and uh, what, Troop and... I'm showing everybody watching uh, on Facebook. And Heard. Heard. That's the, the, the original Carroll County. Okay, I want to read these guys' names. No, let, okay, let wait, Alice read. is here. Alice. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is the, the uh, customary shuffling of mics. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, Alice, how you doing? <laughs> Great, how are you? I don't know. I'll, I'll tell you later. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm going to read the Revolutionary War veterans settling in Carroll County between 1826 and 1840. So listen up, everybody, because if you hear a last name that sounds familiar or that you share, uh, they, the Carroll County uh, Veterans Memorial Park people want to hear from you, right? Is that yeah. right? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Here we go. Well, I always we want them to roll. be sure and plan to come to this <coughs> event, which is on Sunday, May 30th. April 30th. A April 30th. Oh, get I'm it sorry. right, Don. April 30th. I <laughs> at 2 p.m. in the afternoon. Sunday, April 30th, 2 p.m. Well, afternoon yes. is p.m. now. Yes, we're going to dedicate this into the park. That is so cool. Yeah. All right, so um, everybody, here we go. Let's hear the list. Okay, first is John Barber, then Peter Helton, Nimrod Jones, Levi Phillips Sr., Gabriel Smith, William Merriman, John Carmichael, Thomas Hinesley, Minor Head. Mead. Mead. Oh, Mead. Sorry. Minor Mead. That's, that, these are interesting mm. names, I must say. Nimrod yes. Jones. That's a biblical name, right? Yes. And Jones. there are quite a few people related to Nimrod Jones in, in our town. Yeah? Yeah. John Robinson Sr., Zachariah Stedham, Tobias Honea. Honea, maybe? Honey. Okay. Is it Honey? H-O-N-E-A. Okay. Alexander Coggins. Gotcha. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm murdering these names, aren't I? <laughs> Alexander Goggins, three G's. Yes. Lazarus Henson, Jesse Peters, Jesse Rowell, <coughs> excuse me, William York. Okay. Barbara Helton Jones, Phillips Smith Merriman, Honea Stedham Robinson Mead. Hinesley, did you say? Carmichael, Goggins, Hinson, Peters, Rowell, or Rowell, and York. And we're looking for descendants of these guys. And Thursday, well, what was it, Sunday, April 30th at 2 p.m.? 2 p.m. You're going to be dedicating this mm -hmm. plaque. And, and I think the mayor of Carrollton will be there, uh, going to make a proclamation. Oh, that's nice. Uh, we'll run down as many important people as we can. Uh, we'll have chairs set up in the park. How about uh, us unimportant people? Can we go? Yes. We beg people to come. We'd <laughs> love you to come. <laughs> it's a, hey, this is a wonderful place to go and walk and, and feel the presence of all the spirits <laughs> we hang on the wall there. This is such a labor of love for you guys, isn't it, George? Oh, oh yeah. We've, we've had uh, a lot of fun uh, getting, the, getting stuff together. See, you can't just walk up to us and say my great, 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 great was in the Civil, it was in the Revolutionary War. We say, oh, thank you. Here's George's phone number. 
<laughs> George does he your and Alice, it's really Alice, and, and the women see to it more than George's crowd does. <laughs> but well, uh, the girls are. But they, the, the, yeah, they prove it. They, they go and find that they did come here. Mm -hmm. They were here, and they did occupy dirt in the old Carroll County. That's an interesting way of putting it, yeah. occupying yeah. dirt. Yeah, and we 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 do in the in the in the bylaws of the park, uh, the requirements for to get on this wall are a little different. Maybe some of those. The, the, and you're you're saying to get on the Revolutionary War veterans right. wall. Well, since there was no Carroll County, there was no veterans from Carroll County. These veterans fought and then came here. Carroll County may, named after is it Charles Carroll? Charles, Charles Carroll. Carroll. There's a Carroll County in. There's Carrollton in Maryland is the same Maryland. named after the same. And there's one in Texas. Texas. And yeah. I think Kansas. Or there's, there's about 14 Carrolltons in the United States, and I'm thinking Carroll Counties is up in around the 20s. I'm going to ask in interwebs during the break, and we'll find out. We'll get you guys the information because we know that you want to. Inquiring minds want to know about Carroll Counties. It's interesting that he dresses up now and it looks like, uh, and you're the spitting image of these people <laughs> when he dresses up. Wave to and the camera, would you please? Let me on tell Facebook you. Live? Yeah, it's George. We, not only in his revolutionary uniform, but we dressed him as Charles Carroll many times throughout the year, and he performs as Charles Carroll. Does Charles Carroll, at, as you perform him, have a different voice? Uh, no. Do you speak in a no, bit of an I, I English accent? I can't get accent? rid of this southern drawl <laughs> for somebody that was from Maryland. Charles Carroll was the longest-lived founding father, right? Signer of the I Declaration? Think so. Is that right? He was the last surviving signer. Oh, yeah, right. He might not have been the longest living, but he was the last yeah, he was young. He was one of the younger ones that signed, but he was the last one to pass away. Um, we'll talk about him a little bit more after the break. But sure. we are going to take a break. We're going to hear from Tanner Health Systems our wonderful sponsor. And when we get back, uh, everything you never knew you needed to know, but you don't want to miss it, about uh, local Revolutionary War veterans who settled in Carroll County. And who knows what else we're going to come up with to talk about. So I'll be back in 60 seconds. Stick around. Need help finding something healthy to eat? Tanner Health System has an app for that. Menuit helps you find healthy food options on the go. The smartphone app is powered by Tanner's Health Experts, who teamed up with restaurants across West Georgia to make it easier for you to choose healthy food and eat better. Menuit acts like your personal nutrition assistant, showing you the healthiest items on the menu. So when you're not sure what's good to eat, Menuit. You can even use the app to look up recipes and plan healthy meals at home and modify your options based on nutritional preferences, such as a low sodium or vegetarian diet. Minuit and Tanner Health System, making it easier to eat healthy and live well. A healthier lifestyle is only a fingertip away. Minuit is free to download on your Apple or Android smartphone. You can download it today by searching Minuit in the App Store or on Google Play. Learn more about Minuit at GetHealthyLiveWell.org. jump right back into it. This is Lori Wilson with you on Community Voice. Thank you for being with us, everybody. We have in studio, as you can see when you log on to WLBB's Facebook page, um, we, we've got Facebook Live. You guys are TV stars now. Well, video <laughs> stars. Hey, we sh I should look at it on my cell phone. I wish I had thought of that. Don Levin. Good morning again, Good morning. Alex Robinson and George Wheelis. Uh. Over the break, I did some, um, I did a little bit of research. That means that I did a Google search. There are Carrolltons in. Are you ready for this? Maryland, Alabama, is it MI Michigan, right? Michigan, Texas, Virginia, Mississippi, Illinois, Texas. I said Texas again. Uh, and Ohio, Kentucky, and Missouri. Yeah, all and they all Charles have a genealogical society. <laughs> do you think they do? Yeah, well, you, when you're researching, you have to say Carroll County, Georgia. You have to be very careful. If you just say Carroll County, you'll get Maryland every time. The same thing with Carrollton. Yeah, Carrollton, Georgia. If you just search in Carrollton, city of, yeah. you'll get Maryland. So Why is that? Are there more people there? Because probably it gets hit more often, you know, I guess. I don't well, know. Well, that's where Charles Carroll was from. I'm looking at a picture of him on um, Wikipedia, and he was, um, he's dead sexy here. Look at him. 
<laughs> Very good looking man. Lived, uh, let me see. He was born in 37, died at the age of 95 in, in 1832. Who was president back then? Do you guys know? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I know you think I was alive then, but I was not. <laughs> <laughs> That's something else I'll look uh, I'll look up over the break. Okay, so um, tell us uh, you have brief biographies, George. Yes, I do. I won't I won't go through all seventeen because that we'll be going into next week. Okay, uh, we will on your show, but just a, a few of them that that I impress you know that have a, a little different stories okay. to tell. And one is Alexander Goggins. We know that he's buried up in. Uh, Cemetery Bethany Baptist uh, Church in Tallapoosa. Uh, wow. He was at the Battle of Kings Mountain. Uh, he was wounded in his shoulder. Shortly after that, he received another wound. And then within a few weeks after that, he was received a saber blow to the head and left on the battlefield as dead. He recovered from those wounds and went on to serve with his unit for the re remainder of the American Revolution. So he was a pretty tough guy. Wow. Wow. Uh, that's back, back when men were tough. Yeah. yeah. And women wore dresses. She's buried in Tallapoosa, which was Carroll County at the time. At the time, yes. That's something. See? That's, that's pretty cool. P Peter Helton uh, was so, so severely wounded at the Battle of Utah Springs. I think he was wounded three different times in that battle. Where is Utah Springs? In South Carolina. Okay. And he was, uh, he was he for the rest of his life, he was disabled mm. uh, as a result of the wounds. How long did he live? Do you have his uh, he, was, he was born in 1751, and he died in 1849. So he, oh. he lived a long time. Heck yeah. But wow. Uh, That's pretty old. Yeah. Uh, let's see who else is. Lazarus. I love the, I love the name Lazarus Henson. What, yeah. what do you know about him? Lazarus Henson. Yep. Uh, he served in the North Carolina militia. He was at the Battle of Camden, which was a disgrace to the Patriots. And the, the lost the, he was not an active participant. He was guarding wagons or something off to the to the side. Now tell us about the Battle of C Camden being a disgrace. Well, General Gates, and when he faced Cornwallis and Bannister Tarleton. Mm -hmm. Fled, and as the story goes, he didn't he, he didn't stop. He he fled, and left his troops behind, and he didn't stop until he got to approximately Charlotte, North Carolina. Oh. <laughs> 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 he was like bat out of hell, huh? Yeah, right. There you go. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> uh, Nimrod Jones. What do we know about him? There's a biblical name. Not there. much. He was a. Alice may know a little bit more, and I'm just going on the records that I have. But Alice is like, no, I don't know anything. But he was, he was just a soldier in Georgia. That's, that's all I have. Right okay. Now. Well, I know a lot of people uh, were related to him and want to come into DAR on Nimrod Jones. Daughters of the American Revolution. Right. So you, oh, okay. When you say come into on him, that means by way of being a descendant. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. N really? Yes. And th they have to prove their their lineage, right? They do. How do they do that, Big Alice? Time. Big time. Um, oh, look at that. It's a very exclusive mm. club, people. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's pretty hard, really, because you have to have a birth certificate, death certificate, and marriage if hopefully, you know, mm -hmm. they were married of each descendant the first three generations. After the after the veteran that we're talking about? Well, after the person who wants to join you would if you wanted to come in mm -hmm. you would have to supply your mom your grandmother and your great grandmother's records matrilineally then we're talking about because uh, it, it's daughters of the american so i'd have to go for my blood. no no it's blood it's it would be your mother blood. or father okay you could go either way i went through my father's okay. line so it's either way do you think everybody who I mean, most of us must have a revolutionary, uh, an ancestor who lived, maybe most not of fought. Us in the south. Yeah, most of us in the south. Most of us in the south. But as you go further north, you get the grandfather actually migrated here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. But he, from down here, <laughs> all of us are genuine. <laughs> okay. Then, then yeah. I can't stop there because... Okay, uh, your relatives had to go a little bit farther than the first three generations. You have to prove all the way back to the Revolutionary War. How many generations are we talking? Five, six. six seven. Is that yeah. all? Yeah. 
But still, getting the records for all those guys. Must it's be really tough. tough. I mean, I don't know if I can get my grandmother's. Right. You can't use census records anymore. How They've come? gotten, well, because some of them you can barely read, and I think they're open to whoever's interpretation. Uh -huh. And biblical records, it fa we found out that people were forging them. So, you know, you they're just. They're so desperate yeah, to get into the daughters well, of the Well, yes. Revolution. So uh, it's gotten to be a little bit more difficult than it used to be. How many members are there? In Carrollton, mm -hmm. we have 97. Wow, I'm so yeah. surprised there's yeah. that many. We have a good number of people in our chapter. And you guys have done all the, the genealogical work, so it will be easy for your descendants, right? Right, just right. That's good. And <laughs> if we have little boys who want to be in the Sons of the Revolution one of these days, then it's easier for them Mm -hmm. because we have the documentation already at national at national oh you mean at the yeah the in national? washington okay. the, the big var okay so again if you're just joining us um i'm going to read these names again because we're looking for descendants of the following these are revolutionary war veterans who settled in carroll county now the dates are tw 1826 to 1840 why why those two dates by the time you get to 1840, these these fellows were beginning to age out and and, and not and be around and assume room temperature. So, so far, the ones that, that are on there came here before 1840. Okay. I may come across some that maybe came after in the 1840s, and we will still add them to the wall. But we had to. It's considered a, the period of when the when the county was established, being established and being mm -hmm. settled, that's pretty much the date range. There's only 17 of them. Too. To that point, though, yes. when you read the names, if you're out there and listen, and you don't hear one of your relatives that you think came to Georgia after they fought in the Revolution, then we want to contact George Wheelis, okay? okay, or let us know. I mean, we're looking for names. Uh, now we got to prove it, but... If you think they were, George can find out. Okay, well, so just before we go to our second break, let's let's read these out. Then there's John Barber. Uh, we'll go we'll go alphabetically this time. John Barber, John Carmichael, Alexander Goggins, Peter Helton, Thomas Hinesley, Lazarus Hinson, Nimrod Jones, Minor Mead, Jesse Peters, Levi Phillips Sr. So we know that there's a junior, right? So that's one generation you don't have to worry about. <laughs> John Robinson Sr., uh, Jesse, is it Rowell? Rowell, R-O-W-E-L. Rowell. 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 Uh, Gabriel Smith, Zachariah Stedham, William York. This is not, uh, these aren't alphabetical, are they? William Merriman and Tobias Honea. Um, so how do we get a hold of you, George? Okay. Uh, I guess just I'll give you... My phone number would be easier with numbers than, than letters. It's 770 836 1162. 1162. Yes, ma'am. Remind me, and we'll, um, after the break, we'll give out this number again okay. for people. So, all right, we're going to take our second break, and in 60 seconds, we'll be right back with George Wheelis and Don Levins and Alice Robinson, and we're talking about Carroll County Veterans Memorial Park Revolutionary War Veterans. So, be right back. In sports, when you play to win, you get your game on. Shouldn't the same be true when it comes to your health? At Tanner Health System, we're going to help you get your healthy on. Tanner is leading the way for you to eat better, get fit, manage or prevent diabetes, and live tobacco free, so you and your family can get your healthy on every day. It all starts at GetHealthyLiveWell.org. Check out upcoming healthy living events and join others in the community taking action to live well every day. GetHealthyLiveWell.org, Tanner Health System's way of helping you get your healthy on. Need motivation and support to eat healthier, become more physically active, or quit tobacco? Tanner offers free classes to help you get your healthy on. Register today by calling 770-214-CARE. That's 770-214-CARE. Learn more at GetHealthyLiveWell.org. We're back, everybody. Lori Wilson, 
still here with you on this beautiful Thursday, April 20th, uh, with the Carroll County Veterans Memorial Park. Um, I was going to say honchos, gurus, um, <laughs> big shots. Which do you prefer, Don Levin? Real people. <laughs> Real people. <laughs> Southern people. You are people. not 80. What did you say, 82? 86. 86. Yeah, I'd like to testify that Tanner keeps me looking this way at 86. Well, t- good, good job, <laughs> How's Tanner. That? That's great. <laughs> Gosh, aren't we lucky? And if you want to see the, the, the beautiful people who are sitting across from me today, uh, just log on right now to um, our Facebook page, WLBV's Facebook page. We're on Facebook Live, everybody. Now let's, wa- let's wave at people. Let's wave at our, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Now, George, uh, you are going to talk about a couple more of these Carroll yeah, County just, settlers. Just interesting things that, that, that cover uh, the different categories, I guess, of soldiers. We have uh, disabled. We actually, we have a disabled veteran on the wall. Oh, yeah, okay. Because of his wounds. Uh, Jesse Rowell who is uh, buried up in uh, above uh, Mm -hmm. Tallapoosa. He was in the Continental Army. Uh, He was taken prisoner at the fall of Charleston and was placed on a a, a prison ship, which was not a good thing. No, it was horrible. It was uh, very horrible conditions. Uh, The story goes that he, there were prisoner exchanges, but he refused to be exchanged so that younger men younger than him could go and fight. Now that's heroic. And he sent, you know, basically uh, the, uh, the rest of the war he spent on the prison ship, which was close to two years by the time he was captured. Wow. And I can't believe he survived it. I bet yeah. it was really awful there. And William York was taken prisoner also at the siege of Charleston. And that, I don't know too much more about that, but he, we have prisoners of war. We have wounded veterans. We have veterans that served to serve with distinction and honor, and some of the biggest battles of the Revolution uh, on that wall. And that's why we want to get in touch with people that may have be descendants of these gentlemen. So, um, what website can they? Oh, let me give you give out your their num- your number again, George. Seven seven zero eight three six one one six two. Okay, and we have a li- about two and a half minutes left, so. Um, today we're talking about the um, Revolutionary War veterans, um, and you guys are having a memorial service uh, on Sunday, April 20th at 30th. 2. April 30th. April 30th. Get it right, Lori. That's for the dedication. It's mm-hmm. not a memorial service. Okay. It's a, yeah, dedication it's a dedication of this new wall. Okay. Dedication okay. of the new wall, 2 o'clock Real in the quick, afternoon. Real quick, I want to say that on the day before that, on Friday, on Saturday the 29th at 2 p.m., the Confederate veterans... Sons of Confederate veterans will be holding a memorial service. This, this is Georgia Confederate History Month. Mm-hmm. And, uh, is that because the Confederate War? Or the, yeah. the we have Civil 194 War. killed in action on the, on the KIA wall out at the park when, from that war. When killed. was the war officially over? Uh, it was in April, wasn't it? Hey, uh, April, April 26 9th. is Memorial Day. Okay. Yeah. Is is Confederate Memorial Day, okay. so it's probably around that. But we have these. That's more than all war since. So that's on that day. Okay. On on June tenth, we will have uh, what we call Flag Day. Mm-hmm. That's a Flag Day is the fourteenth. It's that month, and George and and uh, and the, and, uh, and the SAR as well will be having a service there, dressed in period dress and uniform at two p.m. On June the 10th. What period? What period will you be dressing in? Revolutionary War. Revolutionary War. Revolutionary War. That's S-A-R cool. and the D-A-R. S-A-R That's and the Sons D-A-R. of the American Revolution and the Daughters of the American Revolution. On do June you? the 10th, this is honoring the American flag. Alice, do you have a whole a whole get-up? I do, but I probably won't wear it because it's really hot. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait a minute. We <laughs> and one more day to put on your calendar. May 27th, we will be having a Memorial Day s- service at the Memorial Park, and it is uh, uh, remembering that it's the centennial of World War One, and we'll have as guest speaker General John J. Pershing himself as an actor, an actor talking about that so put that on your calendar and be sure okay all right great well listen that takes us all the way to the end of the show you're coming back in may though may 9th may 9th okay so set your calendars on that thank you so much for being here don alice george and thank you for listening to us today on the community voice go out and have the best day of your life i know you can do it
get on with it. <laughs> News this hour from...